on about so saying here from fighthype.com and uh, look who I bumped into none other than heavyweight Derek Zora. Derek, how are we doing today? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well, brother. I'm doing well, man. Can't complain. Well, we were just at the final press conference. Tony Bellew, David Hay. There was a bit of a scuffle. What did you make of that whole situation? Uh, it was uh, pushing, shoving. Why not? Testosterone is up. None of those two guys have been laid for the last six weeks, so uh, it's just going to be fight time. You know both fights quite well. I know you're quite, you know, you talked to Tony as a, as a friend. Uh, David Hay, you faced before. Uh, what do you make of that fight? Who do you see winning this fight? Uh, David Hay getting knocked out. David Hay's going to get knocked out. You reckon his body can hold up to the 12 round? His mind, his mind is not set. He's going to get knocked out. Because so many things happening, you know. This time last year, I was training in Miami on a beach, drinking pinta coladas, thinking on a walk over to Tony. He got in there, found it difficult. And this time, he's trained hard. He's, he's trying to make it like his mind is on point, but really and truly, it's not because he changed trainers. How much of an effect does that have so late in your career that you he's changed trainers two, twice now? So how, how... if I was him, I would have stayed with Shane McGuigan. That was it. Do you know why, why, why they didn't sort of carry on the relationship? Uh, because uh, I don't know, you know, don't know.